Time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by the Butterfly Palace. Have the best day ever at the Butterfly Palace. The Springfield Green County Park Board, reminding you to go play. And Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service. Call Southwest Missouri's best plumber today for a free estimate. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, hey, hey good morning to you. Yeah, good morning on uh, Monday. I almost said Friday, that was weird. But this is the Monday post-Thanksgiving. So hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend. We had a nice long weekend. It was great. And uh, now we're less than a month away from Christmas. Part I know. Two. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Our sponsors uh, had a busy weekend. The Springfield Green County Park Board was super busy yeah. uh, with a turkey trot. And then Roto-Rooter. I was just laughing as I listened to the little jingle, the Roto-Rooter intro there, because I bet that they, too, <laughs> were very busy. <laughs> Uh, uh, that means people had a great Thanksgiving, though. Okay. That, that means right? <laughs> if you have to call roto Rooter, something isn't so great. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but they'll help you out. Um, out of a all right. We'll get you. Uh, now you're going to make me laugh. And this is a serious story. So stop. Not... Okay. Uh, here's the news for the week. There have been some very recent violent crimes that we've told you about in Springfield. Uh, but overall for the year, crimes against persons are about the same as they were at this time last year. In fact, they're down a little bit, down by less than 1%. Crime numbers come from a report <laughs> compiled by the FBI. Again, this is specific to Springfield, the city. Uh, kidnappings in Springfield are down 41%. Crimes against property are down 17% from last year. The Springfield Police Department is currently 60 officers short of where it should be, and they are working on that, which will help. Uh, well, that's the, good. Okay. It's, it's good. I was just going to say, it's good to have an understanding of the overall numbers because when you do have a rash of very violent crimes, which we did, three or four people shot to death in a, in a short amount of time. Uh, it makes you think that things are completely out of control. Uh, and it's good to hear that that isn't the case, uh, that most crimes are down slightly. Right. Uh, some of them more than others. So that's good. Yes. All right. In the upcoming year, we will likely start to see commercial development um, right around northeast Springfield near Costco and to the north of that kind of by Springfield Underground. The city says in 2024, construction will start uh, in that area to improve the roads and infrastructure there. East Gate Avenue will be extended from Division Street north and east to connect to the Springfield Underground South entrance on Lecompte Road. Multiple entities are sharing the cost of that multi-million dollar project, and city leaders believe that it will spur development there to boot. Yeah, that's good. More development, the better. Uh, if you have an iPhone, heads up. Uh, more importantly, if your child has an iPhone, you need to know this. There's a newest update coming uh, that has a new feature that will automatically enable something called Name Drop. That allows anyone who places their phone next to your, yours or your child's to automatically receive their contact information. Uh, and that would include, a, include a, a picture, phone number, address, maybe more. So personal stuff. If you want to disable that feature, because I guess it's going to come enabled, you want to disable it, go to your iPhone settings, click general, then airdrop, and then hit shut off uh, bringing devices together. Yeah, it's not the the clearest of titles, but you want to turn well, off. Well, bringing devices together, like in other mm -hmm. words, right. if you're bringing two devices together, it automatically shares the contact from one to the next yeah. for specific to iPhones, iPhone to iPhone. Um, yeah, so you can turn that off. And by the way, some of those iPhones have already updated. So some of you already have that on your phone. Mine has not updated yet, but several of my friends said that theirs has already updated. So be advised. You'd think that'd be something that you have to opt into rather than have to out, opt out of, but I'm not Apple. <laughs> Congratulations to Evangel. University just received another sizable gift, $10 million from the owners of Hobby Lobby and Mardell, the Green family, of course. Uh, Springfield uh, has both of those stores, indeed. Uh, the money will help complete the new Valor Center, which is a 70,000 square foot arena and field house on the campus of Evangel University. So doing well. Good for them. Yeah. David Green we, still remains one of my very favorite people to interview of all time. He's a, a very wise man. I was there yes. for that interview and 
he is uh he's an incredibly uh gifted man in all ways. Yeah, it was awesome. He was Ethan interestingly, who was a very good interviewer, but you were kind of a fly on the wall cuz I was it was my assignment. That was funny. Yeah, I was just I was at this I happened to be at this location with you. Yeah. So I just sat and I sat and watched. Took a couple of pictures. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. there you go. Amazing man, amazing family. Week 12 of the National Football League took the Kansas City Chiefs way out west to Las Vegas to meet the Raiders. The Chiefs overcame a slow start to earn a 31-17 victory a week after suffering their third loss, as uh, we all recall. They are now 8-3 and three on the season, and next Sunday they take on the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. And I think we're still doing the contest, aren't we, sir? Yeah. Yes, go to aroundtheozarks.com and click on contest, um, and you will see it there. And you can win either Chiefs tickets to home games at Arrowhead, or uh, you can also win a signed jersey. So it's a pretty yeah, you, fun little contest. You're, you're guessing, the, guessing uh, the, the overall the, score. Overall score. So in this uh, yesterday, it would have been 48, 31 plus 17. Did you do the math 48. on that already? Did yeah, you I, had, I did it twice in my head while you were talking, just to Perfect. be sure. Perfect, okay. Good, I'm still good. not positive. <laughs> like any good journalist. Good job. Yeah. Um, all right. So did you run with the flock on Thanksgiving morning? I did. A lot of people did. Uh, 5,332 runners took part and more than 450 dogs. It was a good morning. Uh, this was year number 29 for that. That is a 20% increase. Overall runners, 5,000. 5,332. That's a 20% increase over last year. Uh, the proceeds benefit the Developmental Center of the Ozarks and the Park Board's Youth Recreation Scholarship Fund, uh, plus donations, food donations were collected for Ozarks Food Harvest. Good times. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I was out there. Uh, I, I was a part of the support crew once again. I took the dog out with me and uh, I hung out with Ned during the race. We just chatted and caught up. Yeah, and, I can't uh, believe that Ned didn't know who I was when I ran by. Well, you were uh, you had a hat on. You didn't. I uh, did. You, I was very bundled. A, I had a hat and no makeup. I was freezing cold. And you're in a crowd of 5,300 people. So yes, he gets true. a lot of people yelling at him. He gets a lot of people yelling and hugging his feet. He was like up on a stage and I was running by and I was like, Ned. <laughs> and then I just kept going. So like, security. This crazy woman. <laughs> it was this crazy lady. Uh, yeah, the kids and I though had a blast, uh, and it was cold, but the sun came, the sun was out, so that was super helpful. Yeah. Um, all right, if uh, this is your year where your children are younger and it's you know the time of their life where they really want to buy everyone in the household a Christmas present, uh, but you recognize that's coming out of your budget. Um, well, guess what? You can go to the library district. They are having their annual sale for. Um, Christmas time. This is where they get many, many items. And then the kids can shop for trinkets for their family or their friends or teachers. And everything is priced between 25 cents and $10. And the sweet workers at the library will help your child purchase the gifts. Like they'll walk around with them, help them like get them into the bag or whatever they need to do so that they can surprise you on Christmas day. Oh, that's um, cool. I don't know how many years they've been doing this, but I did this with my girls. I think it was before Griffin was born, um, several years ago and it was great fun. And I would encourage everyone to go. It starts, um, this upcoming Saturday, which believe it or not is December 2nd. And um, it's open at the both Library Center on South Campbell, which is by Academy, and then also at the Library Station on North Kansas Expressway. What a neat idea. That gets the kids involved, and it makes them feel like they're part of it. That's awesome. Yeah. I remember my fifth grade teacher, Miss Miner, had <laughs> um, money that you could earn, Monopoly money that you could earn throughout the year. And then at Christmas time, she would have a store, a general store, in the classroom that you could go and buy gifts for your family and friends. So very similar setup in my fifth grade classroom. And it was my favorite teacher and my favorite class year of all time, probably because she was so thoughtful about stuff like that. Awesome. Um, all right. If you haven't put up your Christmas tree or Christmas decorations yet, what are you waiting for? Apparently psychologists say that you should do that. Decorate for Christmas because it boosts your mood. So if you find yourself, um, being a Grinch or in a bad mood, um, Maybe you just need some Christmas decorations because it gives you a spike in dopamine, which is a feel-good hormone. Okay. No need to wait. 
just go, yeah. go do it. Even better um, if you can have your kids do it. I know we are so fortunate. We are. Yeah, we are. Well, it's yes, a, we it's are. a season. It's a season where I don't know that they're going to do that forever. Yeah. Or maybe they but will. Maybe I'm enjoying it. Find it to be nostalgic as they grow older and then they'll come back and be like, mom, let us decorate the house. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Please do, do it. Do it up. Um, all right. Now the last story for you. Gardens Aglow is back at the Japanese Stroll Garden. Always a great sight to see. Um, it's located within the Nathaniel Green Close Memorial Park on South Scenic, which is where we got married. Um, you can walk through the Japanese Stroll Garden or stroll through it, I guess. Check out the amazing Christmas lights, botanical themed. Uh, you do need tickets to do that. So you can check it out online. Just search Gardens Aglow Japanese Stroll Garden. They have fire pits, hot drinks, treats. Um, and they basically run every single weekend between now and throughout December. So check them out. Good times. Yeah, that sounds fun. All right. That'll do it, folks. Is that it? Um, that's it. Yeah, that's oh, we it. Got it. We hope that you... Uh, uh, what did we do over Thanksgiving? Tell everybody what we did. What did we do over Thanksgiving? Well, you did the well, turkey trot. We did the turkey trot. And then trot. We, actually had, uh, we actually had Thanksgiving on Friday because of some family members who, who worked on Thursday or were out of town. Yeah. So, so on Thursday, we went to the turkey trot. We went out to eat. We went and got breakfast. At Village and then we came, Inn, which was so great. And the uh -huh. rest of Springfield was there also. Lots of people there after the turkey trot, for sure. And then we, uh, we ended up going to Bass Pro for a while and walked around because that was fun. We knew that it was open. And then we came back, watched, uh, we watched a movie or something, didn't we? I think I kids? fell asleep, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys asleep. watched a movie. It was, yeah, we watched a movie. Probably pretty great. great. It was great. And then we had actual Thanksgiving at our house on Friday. Yeah. Um, and it was good. Our brother-in-law cooked the turkey. So that was the best part. He smoked Thank it. You, yeah, Tony. It was good. yeah, it was tasty. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Well, Thanks for joining us. Um, if you haven't had a chance, if you will rate and review the podcast, we would so appreciate it, as would our sponsors. So please do that. Rate it, review it, share it with your friends. And uh, don't forget the uh, AroundTheOzarks.com giveaway. Just go oh, to contest and you'll see it there. Only rate it and review it if it's good, if you're going to give us a good score. So if it's not going to be a good score, then keep it to yourself. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> you know what's funny is like I like them all. It's true. I do. I like when people see negative comments, sometimes they'll like private message me on Facebook and be like, did you see this negative comment? Are you going to delete it? I'm like, no, I'm not going to delete it. You know what I mean? You can't just have your lovers in life. Everybody needs some haters. You know, you got to well, have a doesn't mean critics. you have to put them on display. That's true. Okay, fine. Um, all right. Have a good Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. See you. Bye. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooter's Coffee. Here's your host, meteorologist, Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Monday. I hope you had a great long weekend if you were able to have a couple of days off and had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Now we're back. Cyber Monday. There are some good deals going on out there today. Uh, and we are kicking it off on a cold note weather-wise. Few snowflakes seen in the Ozarks over the weekend yesterday. No accumulation, though. Few folks in our very far northern counties saw some of that snowfall on the rooftops. That was about it. No travel issues for us here in the Ozarks, which was nice. Uh, big problems, though, across the country. And we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Really, the headline for us today is that we're starting out cold. We have numbers that are going to be starting out in the low 20s, but it feels like teens this morning, so you need to grab the big thick coat. If you didn't get the Christmas lights up over the weekend, well, you have a couple of choices this week, but temperatures pretty much are going to be chilly anytime you decide to do it. Numbers this morning are in the low 20s, but I've got a warming trend in the forecast as we head into the next several days. Wind chill values in the low teens this morning. So as I mentioned, you need the big thick winter coat today. Bundle up as you head out the door. It is just going to be brutally cold and pretty windy out there today as well. What's happening is we've got quiet weather across the country. So sunshine will be out in full force, uh, but some frigid temperatures taking way across the country this weekend, allowing for cold air to dive into the Ozarks. And with high pressure in place, well, we are feeling like wintertime out there. 50s could be back tomorrow, though, for some across the Ozarks. Today, we're looking at high temperatures in the low 40s. 
near 42 for the Springfield area, full sunshine. And I'm expecting that tomorrow will be pushing 50, probably in the upper 40s here in Springfield, but a few place, places across the Ozarks could be in the low 50s tomorrow. Will be dry through the middle of the week too. So today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, all starting out dry across the Ozarks. And then rain chances will return to this forecast. Things look kind of unsettled again by late week. Those rain chances are going to return for us by the time we get to Thursday. Rain chances are looking pretty good too for late in the week. There's actually a lot of active weather that's going to be happening back uh, near the Gulf states severe weather, in fact, possible for portions of Texas, southern Arkansas, portions of Louisiana this week. Uh, we're not talking severe weather, but we are talking maybe half inch to an inch of rainfall for our southeastern counties. Again, that doesn't happen today, but by Thursday of this week, uh, we were looking at some more rain chances to return to uh, the middle of the country. Today, cold, 42 for the high temperature in the Springfield area. Wind chill values, of course, starting off very frigid. It gets better tomorrow and then even better by the time we get to Wednesday. Mid-50s are back for everybody on Wednesday afternoon. Overnight low temperatures become more tolerable too here over the next couple of days. Tonight, once again, we're going to see some 20s, but numbers are going to be near the freezing point again for Wednesday morning. And then we've got 40s for lows by the time those clouds move in. That happens late in the week as the rain chances return for us. That happens by Thursday. Around the country, what's making headlines? Well, a lot of folks are still traveling today, even though they didn't quite plan on it. Travel headaches across the country. Of course, we had some slowdowns on the East Coast. That was to be expected with that pre-Thanksgiving storm. Uh, but a late weekend storm making for some headaches, especially for our friends out West. If you have friends in Kansas, you probably heard about the snow. In fact, a new record in Wichita, 7.8 inches of snowfall for them. Uh, if you saw that K-State game, yeah, you saw some of the snow on the field over the weekend. And uh, they are still going to be dealing with some frigid and icy conditions even today. However, the snow showers have come to an end. There were a few flight delays in Kansas City, some de-icing needed on a few of the planes there. So uh, also friends up in Nebraska, Wyoming, dealing with slick roads over the weekend. So some folks having to delay leaving their Thanksgiving travel weekend and are just now heading back today. We wish everybody safe travel if you are on the roadways today. Uh, in the Ozarks, things are just fine. And they were all weekend long, which was nice for us. We have frigid temperatures in the forecast to start much of the week. That's true for us here in the Ozarks, too. We're really kind of seeing a winter blast, but temperatures regulate. And I think we'll be back closer to average by the time we get too late this week. So we'll turn things around in a hurry. All right, it is time for the Around the Ozarks wake up weather brain twister question for the day. Before we get to the question, I want to shout out the three winners that we had from last week. Marianne, Laura, and Teresa, big congratulations. You three won our $20 scooters gift cards last week. Of course, it was a short week for the holiday. This week, we're giving away five more gift cards. So I'll have the new question in just a minute. This is the answer to last week's question that I left you with. What is considered the biggest shopping day of the year? And the question or the options that I gave you were A, Cyber Monday today, B, Singles Day, if you've ever heard of that, C, Black Friday, or D, the Chinese New Year. And the answer is, what is considered the biggest shopping day of the year? The answer is C, Black Friday. Most retailers still prioritize Black Friday for the best deals traffic on many uh, websites as well as in the brick and mortar stores is apparently still highest on Black Friday. However, I saw so many people posting like I used to do Black Friday shopping in person and personally I used to too. Uh, but now you can get such good deals online and it seems like retailers are starting them earlier and earlier in the year or price matching if you find it lower somewhere else. I wonder if this will change in the coming years. And I'm interested to see what this year's data shows uh, once everything's collected, because I feel like everything's just starting earlier, lasting longer, and you're able to find some deals like multiple places. Um, so it'll be interesting if Black Friday still uh, dominates. By the way, I had never heard of that singles day. It is a thing. Uh, 11, 11, a day to celebrate those that are single, um, originated in China. I think that tradition, but, uh, apparently it's a big shopping day itself. Buy a gift for yourself. 
not a bad holiday to celebrate, I suppose. Uh, but Black Friday still wins. It is larger, uh, according to the internet, than Cyber Monday. But I think there's a lot of good deals out there today, too. All right, here is your question that I'll leave you with for tomorrow. The first Nobel Prize in physics was awarded in 1901 for what discovery? Do you think it was A, x-rays, B, quantum gravity, C, black holes, or D, the expansion of the universe? The first Nobel Prize in physics. Take a guess. No Googling. That takes all the fun out of it. Uh, make sure you submit your answer. You can do that over at aroundtheozarks.com. While you're there, you can check out the rest of the forecast. Get your up-to-the-date weather, weather information all day long over at the website aroundtheozarks.com. Thanks so much for starting your new week with us. And uh, welcome back from that holiday weekend. I will chat with you again tomorrow morning. Have a fantastic day and bundle up out there today. Sunny skies. But cold, cold temperatures. We're in the low 20s this morning, looking at a high temp today of 42.